Okay, so I have a lot of slides. I'm going to talk really fast. <clears throat> okay, so my name's Eric. I work for a company called DataMade. In 2014, we uh, worked on a project with the Department of Planning and Development in the city of Chicago and LISC Chicago. It was called Large Lots. It was a thing where the city was selling vacant city-owned residentially zoned lots back to residents and communities. Part of the process of that, we came up with another website called Chicago Lots, which nobody uses except for me and Derek. Um, it's basically a big map of all the city-owned vacant lots in the Chicago. Um, and Thanksgiving of 2014, I was sick. So I was on the couch like for a whole week doing nothing but looking at that website. And I had just finished a book called Family Properties, which is about uh, residential segregation in Chicago. Highly recommended. Um, and uh, it focuses a lot on the west side. And I noticed, if you look at this map, Right here, there's a lot of things on the west side. So I started clicking around. And I found this really big, vacant, city-owned lot. And I thought, what the heck's the story here? So this is how I figured out the story of that lot. Um, not necessarily in the order in which I discovered it, but in a much more sensical order. First, you go to historical areas. Oh, this is the caveat. Everything is available while sick on a couch in my living room. <laughs> <coughs> so this is not the complete picture. You could obviously do better. Um, first, you go to historical area, aerials and you do a little bit of time travel. 2012, vacant. 2011, vacant. 2010, vacant. Ot 9, vacant. Ot 7, vacant. Ot 5, vacant. Ot 2, vacant. 99, still vacant. 88, couple of buildings. 73, wow. So we found when somewhere before 1988, all these buildings were demolished. So. Now we want to find the other end. What's the other end of the occupation of this lot? So we go to the City of Chicago Public Library website and look up Sanborn fire insurance maps. <laughs> kind of amazing <laughs> if you don't know about it. Uh, and this is what this area looked like in 1918. I'm just going to be focusing on this thing because I didn't want to do the whole thing. So sometime after 1918 and before 1988, this thing was occupied, right? So this is it. Look here, Dryden Rubber Company. That's interesting. Let's, let's see what that's all about. What do we do? We look in the newspapers. Yay. So you go to the Chicago, city of Chicago public library thing and you start looking in the newspapers. And it turns out George Dryden had a really big house in Evanston in 1915. And in 1920 is when they actually bought this property and built the thing. And they had lots of labor, labor trouble, more labor trouble, still more labor trouble. And then in 1947, they were sold to Scheller Manufacturing. And after that, the trail kind of goes cold because Scheller Manufacturing is a huge multinational corporation. I didn't feel like Googling it all day. So we go to property records. And on our website, we have this nice little link that takes you over here which is the Cook County property information thing. And uh, so it's got all this great information, but the really interesting information is actually in the Recorder of Deeds website, which is kind of annoyingly not able to get to from here. So um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that I have no idea what they mean, but there's a lien right here on the, on the property. And one guy that's mentioned in that lien was also mentioned in that family properties book. His name's Jay Gorin. He was a notorious slumlord in the, on the west side of Chicago. Um, so somehow he had, a, he had a claim on that property, at least in 1995. So let's find out what else we can find out about this property. Um, in 1990, there was a six-story pile of construction debris on this property. Um, and it was, it was illegal because that's what people do in Chicago. So they, over, over time, sometime between 1973 and 1990, six stories worth of construction debris was dumped there illegally. Um, this guy, John Christopher, who was uh, the owner of the firm that did it, was also involved in a federal probe involving this property, uh, which implicated several aldermen and other city officials and bribery scandals and all kinds of wonderful things. And I couldn't find great images of the article, so sorry about that. Um, and it was also, if you notice back way back here, oh wait, this is zoned as a planned development, which is like kind of interesting. So because that means that the city was planning on doing something with this property at some point. Uh, what they were planning on doing with it is they were planning on turning it into a movie studio. Uh, this is an elevation showing what was supposed to be built there, at least in 2004. 
Um, so now, uh, and another thing that's interesting is that UIC actually proposed it as a possible location for the Obama Library, and that's what it was going to look like. So um, that's all I know about this property. Uh, but that's everything that you can find on the internet. So thanks. <laughs> <laughs>